Finally, Pokemon Facts and Trivia has officially returned. Now, I know you guys are itching to get this show on the road, so let's head into Pokemon Facts and Trivia, Episode 7. Fact number one, Rhydon. Now, when you guys think of Rhydon, do you really think of anything special? No, I didn't really think so. However, there is something very, very special about Rhydon. In an interview with Ken Shugimori, the Pokemon artist, he said that Rhydon was actually the very first Pokemon that he created, as shown by this sketch here, and the fact that Rhydon's index number is actually 1. Now you guys know the reason why you always see those random Rhydon statues all over the place in the Pokemon world. Fact number 2, Venomoth. Now Venomoth doesn't look very exciting or interesting either, now does it? Well, the fact is, Venomoth is one of the very few Pokemon that actually got its design changed after the first Pokemon games were released. Now, I know this is called Pokemon Facts and Trivia, but first off, we're going to have to look at a very commonly known theory, which is that originally, before the Pokemon games came out, Caterpie was supposed to evolve into Metapod, which would evolve into Venomoth, and that Venonat would evolve into Butterfree, since they have so many more resemblances to each other. In the original Ken Shigimori artwork for Pokemon Red and Green, Venomoth was shown with yellow scales on the back of its wings. However, after Generation 2, these scales are no longer present. Maybe Game Freak is trying to erase all ties that Venomoth had to the Caterpie family. Fact number 3, Pokeballs. Ah, the Pokeball, perhaps one of the most famous things in the entire Pokemon franchise. Despite how popular it is, not many people actually know the Pokeball's origins. You probably didn't know the Pokeballs are actually based on capsules called Gashapons, which hold toys in Japan. Another little mini fact here, the Pokeball actually has the same colors as the Japanese flag, red and white. One more thing, this is a former Japanese post flag that was used in the 1800s. You gotta admit, it does look like a premier ball. Fact number four, Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver. Many things were planned for Pokemon Gold and Silver that never made it to the final cuts of the games. First off, Pokemon Gold and Silver were, were originally supposed to be the end of the Pokemon franchise as the sequels to Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green. Because of this, they were originally called Pocket Monsters 2 instead of Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver. Pokemon Gold and Silver even had a major plot change in the final games. Originally, Red was supposed to be your 13-year-old brother who had become Pokemon Champion three years earlier. Obviously, this idea is trashed. And since you would be Red's brother, you would also start from the town of Pallet, and you were supposed to travel west in the Johto. But even after Gold and Silver were released, there was still another edit to be made. In the Japanese versions of Pokemon Gold and Silver, Teddy Ursa was exclusive to Silver version, and Fampi was exclusive to Gold. This is switched to the English versions. Fact number 5, Scizor. Now, Scizor is quite a unique Pokemon for many reasons. For starters, it had species completely changed in the Pokedex after Generation 2. Many Pokemon like Pidgey have been changed from the tiny Pokemon to the tiny bird Pokemon as time has passed. However, Scizor was actually called the Scissor Pokemon, and then it was changed to the Pinsir Pokemon. It shares this name with Kingler. Coincidentally, Kingler and Scizor have the same 130 base attack stat. And more interestingly, Scizor's stats not grow at all when it evolves from Scyther. Its base stat total stays at 500. The distribution of the stats is what changes. Want more facts? Be sure to click that subscribe button above. 